Yeah, what's good, Boom Crew? This your girl, Annie Boom Fanny. Um, I'm about to go to this yoga class I signed up for. I'm super excited about it. But I'm kind of bummed because I have my period and it's really heavy. So I have to go get some reinforcements, basically. Um, I'm just going to wear a braid out today. Ooh, I have my, my hair in like six braids, three on each side. Um, I'm gonna wear the front part up. I'm gonna put, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in or I'm gonna put uh bobby pins in, but I'm going into the city so I can't be looking on Raggedy Bronx. How I'll be doing one side is more moisturized than the other side, anyway. <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go get some coffee, I'm gonna go buy some pads. Um, I, I still haven't picked up my vitamin D uh, prescription. Shame on me. Hold on. Yeah. Um, I haven't found a, a nice nude lipstick like today. I would like to. <laughs> she's so cute. And no, she's not hungry. She want me to pick her up. Um, but. I haven't found a nice new lipstick. Or maybe I'm supposed to just put the outline. You know, I don't know about that makeup shit. Like, bitch, I, I'm from the era where you just fucking put lipstick on, bitch. There was an era where you just only put lip line on. <laughs> I'm not from that era. Anyway, let me hurry up. I'm sorry I seem rushed. I'm going to get back with y'all. I'm going to try to record, but I'm not sure. So this is the lipstick that I, I did. See, this is two different nudes with that uh, magenta pink that I be wearing. Now... The nude, when I put it on, it looks ashy or something. I don't know how to explain it. So maybe I need a lip liner for it. I don't know if it's too bright for my skin. I don't know. My complexion is like a reddish uh, spitting. My complexion is like, you know, clay, like red clay or something like that. So it's kind of weird for me to find a, a nude that looks good on me. That isn't a regular brown or um, like too light. So, a nude, I mean. Um, so, this is how I'm going to wear my hair. I'm going to put pins in it to keep it up my face. I'll probably put a pin, pin right here. Pin right there, I don't know. Um, and the pharmacy wasn't open, so I couldn't buy those fucking big-ass goofy pads. But by the time I go back downstairs, um, they should be open because they're right around the corner. So, I'm going to get back with y'all. I already went and got my coffee.
Yep, yep, yeah, 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 played yourself. You played your fucking. You, you see me? Bitch, I went out. Looking dark and low. Who the fuck told me that yoga was easy? Who? Who, bitch? Who? Who told me? Who's Bill? Let me tell y'all something. I went in that motherfucker thinking oh, I'm, all I'm doing is stretching and some breathing and some weird noises and shit. My big black greasy ass was in there about to cry. Okay? I didn't... Whatever I recorded was bullshit, okay? It was bullshit. That downward dog and... And I go to the gym. I go to the gym. Stay focused. It's now. It's not the time. Cause I, I, I would do a bitch. Everybody in there was so slim with their flat stomachs and flat asses and slim arms. Get the fuck out of here, bitch! I'm doing shit. My bones is popping like crack at the crack. I'm like. They doing shit, and I just made up a modified version, bitch, because they doing the downward dog, and my knees is cracking, sis. Howling. I was hurting. I was sweating like a motherfucking bitch hiding in the closet from somebody's wife. I'm telling y'all, yoga is no joke. Then it was that little feisty-ass white gay guy at the end. That motherfucker had me dying. But he wasn't the instructor. It was, it was this Indian lady. But she was strong. She about the the size of my arm. And she come over to me because she know I'm struggling, sis. I'm doing a downward dog. I'm a very tense person. I don't even realize that I'm that tense. She's like, relax your back. Do that. Do I don't like that nigga. Anyway. Sis. Sis was strong. I'm laying down. I got my shoulders all tense. I don't even realize it. Sis pushed her little fucking Indian strong bones up in my motherfucking shoulder to relax. I was like, if I fought this little Indian bitch, she will probably beat my ass. Them yoga girls are strong. Yoga is no joke. Yoga is not a joke. I've learned. I sh I'm a sh I've never I'm a never in my life say that's some easy shit to do. Never, never every third. I'm going back because I don't like to feel defeated. I, I I completed it. Don't get me wrong. And at the end, she was like, "You did your thing." I mean, she didn't say it like that. She was like, "You did your thing." You know how Indian talk. I don't know how. But bitch. Then I I went and got to that Mexican spot I showed y'all. It's no joke. That shit is no fucking joke. And I said that I was gonna do that and possibly go to the gym today. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, y'all. Yoga. Bitch, I'm trying to learn a trick or two though. Get up in that bedroom and start namaste on all niggas. The fuck? <laughs> I was in there, right? So since she pushing down on my shoulders. I wish I could have fucking recorded, but I ain't want to be obnoxious. Like, it's the first time I'm there. And I'm already out of place. I look like I'm fucking six feet 11 compared to these skinny, short, little, petite girls. But just standing on their head, pussy popping on a hand thin, and I'm over there like... Looking cray. But anyway... So when sis was pushing on my sh shoulders, y'all know I'm fucking goofy. So I'm, and she leaning over me, pushing. Bitch, I was about to bust out laughing. Like, gah, gah, gah. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm so fucking corny. But yeah, she said some deep shit. You know what she said? That I'm always in my entire life, as far as my mind and my brain is working properly. She said, let gravity hold you up. 
you. Listen to that. Let gravity hold you up. If that's not fucking deep, bitch, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. Let gravity hold you up. She said that, and that just, I don't know why that put me in a good space. But anyway, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, This morning, last night, I had a horrible time sleeping. I don't know what I ate. I don't know if it's because I'm getting my period, because my period throws me off really, really badly. Like, my mood, my, my attention span, everything. I don't know why it's so bad. Like, my PMS and it's so bad. But, bust this. This nigga on the phone looking around like he talking to a side bitch. Get off that phone, sneaky motherfucker. Anyway. So bust this, y'all. Last night, I woke up. Heart pounding so hard, I was about to go to the fucking emergency room, bitch. I thought in my head, that's it for me. 30-year-old woman dies in her sleep, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, that's how hard my heart was pumping. But let me tell you about the dream that I had. And before I say this, before I even tell you, I'm going to say this. I feel as though my spirit or my, my soul is under attack. And I know y'all like, what is you talking about, bitch? What is you smoking? But let me explain. I'm not a religious person. I don't believe in the Bible. I don't believe in God in the traditional way. If you find that offensive, I don't give a flying what you believe is what you believe. What I believe should not affect you. Okay? So, I don't believe in God in a traditional way. So, I do believe in vibes, frequency, your spirit, your soul, your mind, your atmosphere, the sun, the moon. Like, those are things that I praise. So, I've, I've been feeling or I've, I've felt for a long time that Every time that I'm trying to get myself in a good place, I feel this intentional force that's trying to get me out of there, get me, make me go do a wrong turn. And I don't know what it is. I don't know what I did in my past life. I don't know if I've done something to somebody or maybe somebody did some voodoo crazy shit on me. Or maybe these thoughts are a subconscious thought, basically, and I'm manifesting them not even knowing that, right? So I don't know. I don't know what it is. So, this is the dream that I had. I have a dream. So I'm sounding like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. I had a dream, right? That I was a young girl. Like, it was me, but it, it just seemed like me younger. I was completely naked and I was real slim. And I was laying down. And, you know, I, like I, I've been telling y'all... Um, I'm getting my period. Or I just now got my period, basically, because I was getting it, and now I got it, right? So I don't know that if that's what was on my mind when I went to sleep, but when I when I had a dream, this is what was, you know. So I'm bleeding in a dream, like bleeding, like how you get your period. But I'm bleeding to the point where I'm losing blood. It's blood every fucking where. So this person that I'm calling out to is so-called my mother, right? Now, the woman did not look like my mother at all. I did, and I didn't even see the lady's face. What I saw was a woman who looked like me, but older. And for some reason, her hair was all in, like her hair looked like my hair, but it was like all in her face or whatever. So, but it was my mother in a dream. I just know it was my mother because I said ma. I was like mommy, like, like, like a little girl. And I wasn't a little, little girl, like eight, nine years old, but I probably, if I can remember the visual, I wasn't 30. I, I don't think I was 30 years old in that dream. But I was like, Ma, I need help or some shit like that. I can't remember everything. But she's like, okay. So every time I said I want to take the tampon out, like I was like, Ma, I need help. And so she helped me get up. And she was acting real like she didn't want to touch me or nothing. Like, I had blood all over me. I understand that's disgusting, but if my child had blood all over him, I don't give a flying... F it could be his shit. Like, if my son is in fucking need, bitch, I'm, I'm going to do what I'm, I'm, I need to do. But this person who appeared to be my mother, or maybe it was my older self, 
was like acting real finicky. So I'm like trying to hold her hand, grasp, and, and, and she just wasn't, like she wasn't so open about helping me. So she goes, so I'm like, oh, I want to take the tampon out because she's running the water. And I'm like, I want to take the tampon out. So every time I said I wanted to take the tampon out, she'll turn off the water and she'll let my hand go. So in the dream, I would start screaming. And when I say screaming, you ever heard a kid do that high-pitched scream so loud that it almost, almost breaks a fucking glass? That's how I would scream. So this was a back and forth thing. She's trying to make me get into the shower with the tampon on. And I don't know why in my head I was so hell-bent on taking the tampon out. So I'm like... You know, I'm trying to tell her, like, let me take the tampon out. Like, you know, I'm bleeding all over. I got to take a this. It's something. Every time she, every time I said that, she turned off the water. And then eventually she stopped. She sat in a corner and she was just. She just. That's when I woke up, right? You think that's the fucking end? I wake up. My heart is pounding out of my fucking chest pounding out of my chest i'm tearing i'm not boohoo well what's that boohoo i don't think i was boohoo crying but i was almost there because i was like you know how you just see and feel something so vividly that you feel it like it happened if it didn't happen in this universe it happened in another universe because there's no way so i wake up and i see a whole bunch of people it wasn't even people because they didn't look necessarily humans like humans but it was just they all around my bed and they was all standing there like this watching and i said to myself i said i'm under attack i'm under attack what the what is going on and then i had to tell myself i had to do some breathing calm myself down and I had to tell myself, you are not under attack. You, like, I, I basically was just convincing myself you're not under attack. Like, you're, you're making this up. Like, you're bringing trouble into your own life. You're, you're bringing bad vibes and negative, negativity into your own life. That's how I, so I, I sat there and had a pep talk. And I'm not talking a lot. I'm just saying this in my head while I'm laying in bed looking around. So eventually they, you know, they went away. And... Y'all can interpret this how y'all probably think I'm crazy as fucking batshit. But, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not one to ignore. Um, I'm not one to ignore things like that. I wholeheartedly believe in stuff like that. Um, it, it won't be my first time having these type of dreams or encounters or whatever. And I remember this this dream is so was so heartbreaking to me because I had a dream with my mother about my mother when I was younger, like a young girl. And in the dream, it was my mother, it was my real mother, and looked like her and everything. And she was holding was she holding my hand? No, she wasn't holding my hand. We was walking on some street. It was a desolate street. There was nothing there. But I remember the color of the bricks. It was like the color of my skin, like reddish brown. And it was this long street and nobody was there. And my mother was walking and I'm walking with her, but we're not really together. Like she's walking a little ahead of me. And she's walking and a guy grabs me in a dream. I, don't, I can't remember what the guy looks like. But I remember feeling his, this is a dream, mind you, and I remember feeling his hands and everything. And I'm screaming for my mother and nothing's coming out. And I just see her walking and walking and walking and walking. And I'm screaming, she doesn't bother to turn around. There's a bee in here. Oh, that's a little baby bee. Die, nigga. Spot while I have no fucking dreams, killing insects and shit. Um, so she just flat out left me. I think I told my mother I had that dream too. I interpret that dream because I did not, you know, some of you may have heard me say a few things throughout some videos, but I, I've had a very tumultuous um, childhood. I've been in situations that no child should be in. So I just feel as though maybe that was 
my conscience warning me that my mother would not be there for me in that type of way. Because my mother was battling her own demons. So, um, maybe that was my warning and I didn't know what it was as a child and I just kept going through life experiencing what I'm, I'm experiencing and not realizing that that was the connection I was supposed to have to keep me uh, in a straight line. But, whatever. Anyways, not to get too deep and weird y'all out. <sighs> Bitch, I went in there looking like fucking uh, Foxy Brown. And I came out looking like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, she said, let gravity um hold you up. Let gravity hold you up. And I was getting so into the yoga that I almost started crying. Yeah, I'm a pussy ass bitch. <laughs> I'm a gangster. Don't try to play me though. Nah, but I was just, I just need, I think I've been soul searching. I just, I need peace of mind. I need peace of mind. Like, I got a lot on my heart. And I think that being that I'm not an expressive person, I feel that I'm okay. And maybe I'm not. Maybe these things are manifesting in other ways. And I just need to, you know, get a grip. Get shit together. Get, get, get it together. Get my fucking life together. So, um, anyway. Today is Friday. I don't have any ratchet activities set up. Um, I did what I was supposed to do yesterday. I've done what I'm supposed to do today. Um, I 70% believe that I'm probably not going to make it to the gym. Um, but that'll probably change. So hopefully I can make it to the gym. If not, it's okay. I did my physical activity for the day. I went out and I got my son. As I told myself that I'm going to start doing is start being more social and start getting more sun or whatever. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll probably be back today later on, y'all. I don't know. Y'all, see, this is where my appetite be done. I go to the little Puerto Rican spot because I'm trying to show my people's love, right? Sis chatting it up with me and all that. And I'm not even hungry. I'm forcing myself to eat because I don't have an appetite. My appetite been off. But why would you throw this big ass fucking dry ass piece of chicken up on this rice that's mad hard and no fucking sauce? It's a given. You put sauce on people's food. Oh, God. I'm annoyed. I should have checked what she was... I don't know. She served... I don't know. I don't know what to say. Anyway. I'm about to have this lemonade from them. That, that, that was actually good. And I'm putting some of this in it, sis. Because I need a drink after this fucking... I'm going to die of fucking thirst. Choking on Popeye's chicken with this shit. Good bone crow. Oh, sorry. It's raining out, so oh, my towel's falling. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Uh, yeah, it's pouring out, guys. So I was supposed to go to that yoga class today. I don't think I'm gonna go. Hold on, let me show you. I see that? That shit is a river. I was born by the river. River, river. Alright, so y'all saw that rain. I'm just waking up, y'all. Uh, what time is it? 8.46. I'm sorry about this. Uh, this TV is loud. Ending the payments for Hold on. Yeah, so I'm gonna look and uh, reschedule the yoga. I hope they don't charge me um, for it. 
I'm just not beat to be outside in that rain. Yo, why, why I didn't um, listen to myself, y'all? So you know how early I was like, oh, I'm not going to go to the class. So I see that it stopped raining. So I'm like, bet, I'm going to go to the class. It says that you have to arrive to the class 15 minutes before time. So I'm beasting to get to the class. Like, I left my house, like, 12, 20. But the class started at 1.30. You got to be there 15 minutes ahead of time. So I'm breaking my neck trying to get here because I'm like, okay, like, raining is not going to make me melt. Let me just go. I get there. I ring the bell. They don't answer. They're not letting people in. On top of that, I dropped my umbrella somewhere, and now it's fucking pouring. So, I don't listen to myself. I told myself to cancel the class and I did not fucking listen to myself. I'm so annoyed right now. Look at this shit, y'all. Hold on. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm in the um, gym. And I'm salty as fuck because I didn't want to come here today. I can't record long in here because of the fucking copyright. So, I'll be back. Sorry. Today, I'm attempting to get to another fitness class. This time, it's pole dancing. It's 11 o'clock. I gotta go wash my ass. Cause ain't nobody wanna be swinging on the pole. Swinging funk around the fucking pole. I'm gonna wash my ass. The class is at 1.30. Yeah. Um. And that's it. Nothing's required. I just gotta make sure I bring my towel this time because I, I be forgetting. And you have to wear shorts. So I'm happy. I only ate a half a sandwich. I'm kind of proud of myself because my appetite isn't so good. I haven't been eating. And of course, my coffee. This is probably the culprit. Because I don't know if y'all know, but when you drink coffee, it kind of curbs your appetite. Like, you could drink coffee and you won't feel hungry until, like, old coffee done burnt old coffee out of your damn system. So, I'm going to test that theory and try to go one of these mornings without drinking coffee. I'm going to try to do it, like, two, three days in a row. See how far I can get. And, um, see if my appetite returns. But anyway, I'll be back. I'm going to try to record in there. Um... Uh, so y'all can see me make a fool, of my, fool out of myself I have absolutely no pole dancing experience believe it or not <laughs> bitch if I get through this class and I do my thizzle I might be a stripper near you bitch about to go up into these classes hi yeah 1 30 <laughs> okay Hold on, guys. So this is the room. I'm recording really quick because I don't know if they want us recording. So this is actually the room, guys.
Turkey, right? Yes. But it's with pork sausage. <laughs> Take me off the porch. What? <laughs> you just—I just thought about that. She's sitting there talking about we trying to watch what we eat. Yes. Really? <laughs> Sis is fraud. Yo, I think somebody outside screaming. I think they're doing some ritual shit. Nah, that ass. Cause it be it be chickens and rabbits over here. I'm dead ass serious. Yeah, I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Let me see the. I'm a fucking tar. The name to this? What? The name to this? It's. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Nigga, just put her on. Put that on. You guys better watch what you're saying. The camera's on you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is this FaceTime Live? No. <laughs> FaceTime Live? What the? You getting old, sis. This is YouTube. Look at that fatty. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Is this really what is it? It's going to be on my YouTube video. Oh, okay. Say hi. This is Shakia. It's so. Bye, so. Hi. Nah, nah, you're not gonna pump them things like a DVD. <laughs> this is so, you know what I'm saying? What? I used some, yesterday I had a rash on my arm. I used some yesterday, this shit cleared up. You feel me? Soaps by Annie. <laughs> Go get that. I'm very serious. You're like, so annoying. Not only does it smell good, it clears your skin. Ah! Uh, I'm not making no claims, alright? I don't want to be sued. <laughs> I they cleared up my skin. Seriously, is this going on YouTube? Yeah, it's going on YouTube. I, do you follow my YouTube channel? I don't. Follow me on, on uh, IG, kissme underscore um key or whatever. I don't do makeup or make soap or nothing. She's just a girl and she needs followers. <laughs> Get up, get her. Nah. What? Say, repeat it. <laughs> yeah, sister's just going in. She be acting bad. Thanks, for yeah, 